So, hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Alex Alai, and it's a great pleasure to uh, present you our work on uh, human trajectory prediction in crowded spaces. And it's a joint work with my colleagues at Stanford University. So when we walk in crowded spaces, we obey a large number of unwritten common sense rules. We comply with social conventions. For instance, as we consider where to move next, we respect personal spaces. We heal right of way. We avoid crossing groups of people talking with each other. We are socially aware of our surroundings. And in this work, we want to learn all these social interactions from the data. So we want to learn to forecast human trajectories in crowded scenes. And one application of our forecasting model is to reinvent social robots. So we have developed a new robot in our lab called JackRobot that can roam and operate alongside humans in crowded scenes. And over the past years, Many work have addressed the forecasting problems and they either use handcrafted set of functions such as the social force or they model human space interactions. And in this work, we want to use the LSTM based architecture to forecast human trajectory that can jointly reason on correlated sequences. Here is an example of three pedestrians moving around. So each person is represented with its XY coordinates across time and we want to predict the next coordinates uh, in time. And we're going to explore three LSTM-based approach to solve this problem. First, we can use the LSTM for each person. But in this case, we're not modeling any interactions. So one solution will be to add an additional input and describe the relative position of each person um, to solve this problem. But here, neighboring people are considered a static obstacle. Therefore, we propose as a third solution to share the hidden states of each LSTM and then jointly reason on the forecasting problem. We expect the hidden states to capture the time varying motion property of each person. So we propose a new pooling layer where given the relative position of neighboring people, we will build an occupancy map. And instead of storing the binary occupancy information, we're gonna store the hidden state of uh, the LSTMs. And we're gonna pull from this representation to jointly reason on the prediction task. So here are, and we're gonna do that for each person. And here are some quantitative results, and we measure the average displacement error. Um, and then we show here some results on the baseline. So we have the linear model, we have the linear model with avoidance, and the popular social force model. Here are our LSTM-based method, and we can see that the vanilla LSTM is not outperforming previous work, whereas our social LSTM is outperforming previous work. And the lower, the better in this graph. Here are some qualitative results. Um, in yellow, it's the ground truth, and in red, it's our method. And we also show the result of social force and linear model in this example. And I would like to conclude our talk, my talk by showing more specific interactions of human. And here we have two people moving around, and the black is the ground truth. And in grades are observed um, trajectory, which is two seconds. And here is the prediction of our method illustrated as a heat map. And once the pedestrians are close enough to each other, we can see that our method is able to predict a turn. And again, here, the gray is what we observe, it's two seconds, the ground truth is in black, and the heat map is our method. And we can see that our method is able to learn to turn around group of people, or to even walk in between a group of people, and then I'll be happy to um, answer any question at the poster session. And we're going to also um, share the, the code of this uh, forecasting model. Thank you.